Hello and welcome to another Wolf Time game video. Today we're continuing with Star Wars Armada and we've finally gotten back to some TIE Fighters. I know you guys all want to see TIE Fighters, I want to see how I've painted them. Um, I've decided that I'm going to be painting these first, which is the Defenders. And I'm also going to be working on some TIE Phantoms as well. Great looking ships, very different from your standard TIE Fighter. Um, so the painting is slightly different to what I've done in the past. Hopefully this will help you with your painting though. Uh, before we get started on that though, as usual, let's get that kettle on. If you've been here before, you're a subscriber, you'll know the first thing that I always do is give them all a good spray and decent base coat. I do that using these sort of popsicle sticks. I'll get a little bit of blue tack, stick all the ships to it and give it a really good spray with a decent base coat. I use Games Workshop's Grace here to do all of these little ships. As you can see here, these defenders are now done and ready to go. Um, just make sure you've got a decent coverage on them. Don't overload it, obviously, because you'll lose a lot of the detail, but this is a very thin paint, so you shouldn't lose too much, even if you did overload it. The first thing I'm going to do is paint the little like stub just at the bottom of the ship. Uh, with a little bit of black paint, I'm using Games Workshop's Contrast Black Templar, and this is the little bit that was essentially stuck inside that uh, bit of blue tack, and it just hides it essentially um, when you're doing the rest of the vessel. And it's easy to stick it in the base once that's done, and then you can paint the rest. And as you can see here, I'm painting all the um, like excrements of the Tie Fighter, and I'm going with that standard sort of a black colour. And I'm using the same paint, Games Workshop's Black Templar, to do this. Now some of you may ask why am I using a, a contrast paint and not a normal paint and that's because the contrast paint works so well as a sort of standard paint as well. You can see here I'm literally just following the lines that are on the miniature itself and what the contrast paint does is because is, it's so thin it slides against these areas really really nicely and if you get it on the top or any areas that you don't want it you can wipe it off it's that, that simple to use. Uh, I really like using the contrast paints for most of my vessels now I pretty much stick with contrast paints throughout. Now instead of using a grey paint like I've done in the past with TIE Fighters to do all the grey areas, now all I'm going to do is cover the whole thing in null oil. And when you see the finished product you'll know why I've done this. Essentially it gives, with using this base spray and then null oil over the top it gives the same effect as it would do using a light grey paint. Which means that you, all that effort that you have to go to to try and like paint all those little individual bits grey, now is completely gone by using this technique. I've had a bit of a play around over the past few months and this is a really really easy and quick way of doing it and getting them looking really good and on the tabletop as quick as possible. Now to add a little bit of colour to the miniatures I'm going to use a bit of moot green which is a really bright green paint just to touch on the on the edge of uh, all these little areas just underneath the windows initially and then also the edges of all like the wings now if you look at the reference image you'll see they've got like a green tinge and that's sort of the weapons areas and the green works really really perfectly especially this moot green because it's so bright it sticks out from the rest of the miniature now these are very very small so you may not see this on the tabletop um, you know you, you're going to be standing three feet away from these miniatures but it really does that add that little bit of detail now what I'm doing here is painting the center one and giving them a, a red stripe down the the tops of the the wings purely because this is going to be my sort of hero one um, the card that I'm going to be using to use these is called Mourner Key. Now I know this isn't necessarily canon um, the, this person had the red uh, however it makes it stand out on the tabletop 
gives you a little bit more interest and you can see like straight away just by glancing without having to look at the the little card base that this is the you know the the upgraded vessel rather than the standard tie defenders but there you have it the ships are complete and i think they look absolutely fantastic and you can see what i mean with using the null oil and the black uh, over the top of this light gray sear base spray you don't need to use a gray paint at all to get this look the sort of light gray effect and i think it looks really really good and i can't wait to get these on the tabletop and get some games and see how they play out thanks for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos go and check out the channel now for more great content there's loads of painting videos including games workshop star wars and loads of fantasy settings such as frostgrave and one of my favorites boroughs and badgers otherwise i'll see you in the next one